Hello everybody, welcome back, and here's part 9 of the Banjo-Tooie Round 2 Race. So if everyone's ready, we're gonna go on 1, 3, 2, 1. This is the race that never ends. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes on and on, my friends. People keep on telling me that they think it will end, but they're wrong, because they're liars. Yeah, I'm just hoping that this is not the race that holds the, that sets the record for longest race on the channel. There's nothing wrong with making history. Well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Which? What's the move that you need? Five ninety four. Uh, Five hundred. Alright. Isn't that this news pack? Alright, and that's number 37 for me. Alright, tie is tie has officially been broken. Right. You wanna know another reason why I hate Terry Dactyland as much as I do? Why? It's this it's this weird oblong geometry. It's like, you think you're gonna ledge grab onto something, but no, you just end up going around it. <laughs> oh, you need 505. Oops. For the claw clamber boots, you do. <laughs> yeah, on his site it says 590, I don't know why. I don't know why I thought 594. Maybe you're confusing that with another ability. It says claw clamber boots. Oh, yeah, That's Mo, fine. If you don't mind, Mo, what's up? I was gonna say, if you don't mind me asking, what's the? Is there a policy that protects me from accidentally death warping in the one spot? Um, I mean, I haven't, uh, I haven't, I didn't accidentally death warp, so, uh, I just need to make sure, just need to make sure I don't accidentally cheat. Um, <laughs> death warping is allowed, Aquitad. Yeah, yeah but the thing is, there's yeah, a there's loophole that I wanted to, that, that was exploited. And I, I, I kind of see that as more external than internal. Oh, okay. Um, if you do, I guess I'll take a look at it. <laughs> and uh, if it doesn't look like it's deliberate, then uh, that's fine. All right. All right, I just got my ninth honeycomb piece. Extra oh, I did that for, but okay. Uh, of the ones I already have. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, if it's an accident, that's one thing. But if it's deliberate, and it definitely looks like it's deliberate, then, then if you I have the it. if you have the claw clamber boots, then that whole thing is null and void, and you don't have to worry about it as much. Yeah. I just want to make sure you actually have the move. Yeah. Which I mean, I'm hoping I'm be, that... I mean, I'm going to be going to Grunny Industries soon. Because I think I just got my last thing I want to get in. Actually, wait, no, that's a lie. I want to do one more thing in here. You know what, since I'm here, I might as well get the Jiggy in here. The one that requires the uh, snooze pack. Yeah. Hmm. 
And you guys get the Cheeto page too. <laughs> but I do have to go back to Pterodactyl land no matter what, so. <laughs> Cheeto page. What? I said what Cheeto page? Um, in the toilet. Oh, that one. Oh, Lago. Yes. I can't believe you still went in there. Now watch your beak, you filthy bird. I don't care that that didn't rhyme. I think we dropped... I think we clarified that we're dropping the whole rhyming thing, all right? Yeah. Yeah, no, the, that's because Grunty's sisters demanded it. Yeah. Right, but then she we... start rhyming again in uh, Nuts and Bolts. I wouldn't know, because I'll never get the chance to play that game. That's Jiggy number 39. Gold, how close are you to getting 38? Me? Oh, uh, uh, he's talking to me. Um, I'm about to because I just came back to Glitter Gulch Mine to get the uh, the um, the one behind, <laughs> behind the exterior waterfall. Oh, okay. I I already got I already got that one. Did you uh, use the Kazooie egg? Yep. <laughs> I had that done in the last, in the first part that we did tonight. <laughs> nice. I don't have to go here yet. <laughs> I realized I went to the wrong place. I went to the air con, the air, uh, air con plant. Remember, you can't. Do Remember, we have to defeat all bosses. That means you can't. That means you can't do Weldar skip. Um, I don't think I even know how. Thirty-eight. Here I go. I got thirty-eight now. All right. All right. That's uh, Cheeto page number 14. Now let's head back to Pterodactyl land. Look at this majestic, look at this majestic dinosaur. I'm hoping to resume Grunty Industries in this part. <laughs> well, have fun. I want. I wonder if I could do all this in 20 minutes. <laughs> oh God! Circ circumnavigating this very tidy path with <laughs> with this giant. With this giant monstrosity is a uh, not fun. Wait, what? I'm the I'm the big T Rex and I'm trying to cross this little bridge. Which bridge? There's like a bridge connecting like the area by Wumba's to uh, like the area by the main entrance. Oh. I took the long way. No. I didn't think I would be able to fit in there. <laughs> anyway, Jiggy number 40. <clears throat> get in the- get in there- get in there you stupid T-Rex. 
Alright, what's next? Um... Hey, stupid T-Rex that's not nearly as bad as Mr. Patch, but still. Okay, here's a... Alright, here is a somewhat topical... Here's a somewhat topical question. Would you believe me yeah. if I told you guys that I actually play one of the instruments that's prominently featured in the Banjo-Kazooie sound font? Which one? Saxophone. Oh! No. Nice! I would believe you. Yep. Er, partic <clears throat> particularly, the, uh, particularly the low one that's featured in all the songs. I take... I take great pride in playing the Barry Sax. Nothing wrong with that. Oh. And while I'm saying that, I have to go back and grab the <laughs> the spring boots again because I accidentally pressed B instead of A. Whoops. Let's try it again. Cause I'm going up to the higher top top of the tower now. There's really not that much left I have to do. In Pterodactyl Land. Yeah, I'm still looking for the I'm still looking for the cave where you get hatched, but I seem to have mis I seem to have misplaced my cage. <clears throat> for my cave, I guess. Alright, just got the claw clamber boots. I know which cave you're talking about. I seen it, but I just don't know where it is. Wait, never mind. I think, I think I figured it out. Where is it? Uh, there's like a pair of spring boots like right next to, right next to Wumbas. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a ledge you can jump to. I think that's how you get up there. That's what I figured. All right, here we go. Now I can learn hatch. Without worrying about that. Uh, emulator malfunction. <laughs> yep. Okay. Because emulator oh, wait a emulator no, malfunction is my middle name. I guess start with Kazooie. Who, me? I'm I'm doing stomp the source. I guess Kazooie is the best option to start first with. Okay, at least I have full control of uh, Banjo. Uh, Stompadon. Stompadon, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, Stompadon. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. That's the first time I failed it. <laughs> Not ever, but. And I was at the end, too. Yeah. I'll have you know that I tried to cross it as Banjo without Snooze Pack. <laughs> you probably know how that went. Yeah, very bad. Yeah, yeah I, I I would figure as much. Trust me, trust me. I am the personification of Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong on my end probably will. I'm good. And I did that without getting hurt. 
Alright, I oh, that's second, everything I want to do for now in Pterodactyl Lance, so I'm getting I'm getting out of here. That second run anyways. Obviously I died the first time. Alright, please for the love of God get me out of here. I've spent enough time in... I've spent enough time in dinosaur land. I want to go back to... I want to go back to Isle Delfino. Alright, just got the snooze pack. Nice. I'm currently using it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back to Jolly Rogers Lagoon and get that one jiggy that I missed. Oh, th that one. Yeah. To be fair, I probably would have got it had I, uh... Had I not pressed B instead of A. And probably if you had Clockworks. Yeah. Yeah, and besides, I... And besides, I need to get the train switch. That's Jiggy number 41. Actually, you know what? While we're here, let's... And that is Jiggy number 42. Oh, you must have just beaten Terry. No. Stomp, stomp, stomp on and on. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll be doing that in a little bit myself. But right now, I'm doing the Trash Compactor. Trash Compactor? Grindy Industries! Uh... Uh... uh trash Compactor. What are you doing there again? <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Well, it, it's one of those tests where you need the snooze pack. Oh, that. Yeah, I just did that. Okay. I, I didn't know what it was called. <laughs> um, yeah, I did that shortly. Right. After, right, that's after 30, hey. 39. All right, I'm, getting, I'm in the process of getting my 38. Or I guess, 30, I guess 39, depending on what this jig is. <laughs> yeah, now I'm fighting Terry. that many grenade eggs so I have to be very accurate with my shots <laughs> and I actually took the place the ones up there for ice eggs not fun oh you're right I forgot about that and I got more eggs so I'm good Yes. Works underwater. Oh yeah, yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, I tried getting the one that you need the shack pack for, and that didn't work out well. Terry's down. All right, now I'm in the stopping plane. <laughs> All 
Triassic Steamroller. Purple Jinjo again. Welcome to my world with the black ones. How many of the black ones do you have anyways? Uh, I think I have like three. Yeah, yeah you're gonna get all... I could have done uh, that later uh, here. Um, Chomposaurus. I could have just flown down, but that's fine. You want to know something? There was a very small part of me that wanted to do the crispy bacon minigame. Why? Because if you fail, you can hear him. Reasonably fast. How do you do it? I have a hard time with that one. How do, how do you? What do you mean by fast? I, I, it takes me seven, eight tries to get it done. I mean, I've seen spe I've seen speedrunners just like do it from the surface, so they can like see all the fish and then just. Oh! Yeah. There's an actual surface? Yeah, there's like a su there's a surface. Oh my god. Hey, wait a wait a second. Are, All right. are you telling me that I didn't are you telling me that I didn't hit the Jinjo Village silo? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Alright, and it's number 40! Gold, you're gonna be ahead of me for a little bit because I'm, uh, I am <laughs> opening Grunty Industries and Hailfire Peaks. Right. And you... that 41. What did you, what did you do? Stomping planes. Stomposaurus. Stomping planes, yeah. Right. Just stomping, stomposaurus, dude. So that's how you get down here. Okay, yeah. I had a feeling that's how you do it. Thanks for the tip. Uh, Take with welcome, that. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I knew that there was a down area for Unga Bunga's cave. I just didn't want to trigger the cutscene and of <laughs> saying you seem okay, you could go through and all that. And this is technically a faster way, so. Might as well reload on Kazooie eggs because I know I'm going to need them soon. All right, well, that's one of the eggs hatched. All right, that's Grunty Industries open. Oh, that's a good idea. Not you. <laughs> Not what you said. <laughs> Cheeto page number 12. Oh, that's right. There's a ginger up here I need to get. Oh, can I do it without flying? I'd be very interested in seeing if you could. <laughs> well, we got five minutes, by the way. Right. Got it. Yeah, I got that ginger without flying. 
You know the one that you need to shoot a kazooie egg? Uh, not kazooie egg, uh, a grenade egg to hit the switch? Oh, <laughs> 